Hello. So, in this, in this video, I'm going to show you how to write uh, CSL and uh, how to do some styling to your HTML page. Uh, I mean, to your existing HTML page. If you, you don't know how to, to make an HTML page, just watch my previous video about how to write your first HTML page. So, this is what we have for now. And let's, let's have a look here. Yes, we have a title here that says, hey, I'm writing HTML. So what we are going to do as a, a starting is uh, to create a new file and let's make it write this h1 here. What is wrong? Something is wrong. Yeah, just make a board, excuse me guys. So uh, h1 and uh, curly brackets and let's write here color. Let's make it light green. Nice. So let's give it a background color. A background color. It's the color that will be behind that title. And color. Just type along with me if you can. And let's make it purple. It doesn't matter if it looks good or not, uh, because we are just making our first style. So what I did now, uh, I want to save this file, and it should be saved with the same directory where we have our HTML page. I have my HTML page at this desktop, so I'm gonna save also my CSS file in the desktop. Let's name it first. CSS, right? So, and make sure the type of the file is CSS also. That's great. So let, let's have a look in our in my desktop. Here, to, here is the file first CSS. It should be in the same directory. That's great. Let's continue. So what we have here, we called this H1, and we give it a background color, and we give it a color. Nice. Let's let's have a look so to what we have in the browser. What do you think is gonna happen when I refresh this page? Yes, as I expected, nothing, because we don't the these two files don't have any relation, so they are not linked. So we have to link them. How do we do that? It's very simple, guys. Uh, it just a matter of the of syntax just you will just get used to it uh, just a thing that you have to remember uh, we'll open our tag and name it link yeah and rel equal style sheet and href that's it guys it's just something that you need to remember not not nothing back here because uh, our file uh, our CSS file is in the same directory we will write direct directly here first CSS that CSS and we are done we we'll link them let's have a look that's nice uh, what I'm thinking now is um, let's make this uh, in the center and let's make this background color uh, take take uh, just a uh, specific width not the whole page so what we are going to do we are going to to go uh, to same uh, h1 here and add text align center yeah text align center and with let's give it 50% that's 50% of the page as a width let's have a look yes that's nice 
center it and the width is 50 percent let's also try this do you see that guys so what's happened just now i'm gonna show you now let's go back and keep that the width so i can explain to you so the width is 50 percent so we only have this left part so this is our 50 percent this is from here from the first till the end here when i did text center then from this 50 percent our test our text got centered but when I did margin auto then the whole h1 this whole 50% got censored for, for the whole page that's it we I guess we get it we got it here the next thing we are going to try to do is add a second title which will be smaller and add three images uh, uh, below and we will try to make them look nice not very nice but styling so we will do H yeah as you expected h2 if h1 is smaller than the, the one ab uh, above h1 h2 h3 until h6 that's great so we'll write here um these are images and we will not center it so let's make sure this everything's good here we go these are images nice so uh, and we'll do a dev consider devs like a dev like a container like a just a tag that you open so you can put other tags inside of it uh, just to separate the, the 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 elements you have there from other stuff just a matter of organization let's let's do image great let's copy past past so ju just to make things look nicer and uh, cleaner and more clear so this is body h1 h2 so this is what we added lastly we have a div this one, and we have three images three images with no source this is where we write the source of the image this is the, like where we will get the image so uh, i went to google and and looked for uh, random images and i'll take random images of course uh, just right click and copy image location and go here make this oh my gosh it's too long but it's okay too long this is too much uh, i guess th there's something wrong copy yeah copy image location yeah uh, no. the link is too long so uh, let's take this one copy image location and go here also too long and this one or this one 
Mm -hmm. Almost, almost there, guys. Just bear with me. And let's have a look to what we have. <laughs> Three images with no good luck. Let's, let's try to make them look a little bit nicer. So what we will do here, we'll call image and open the curly bracket. What we are doing here, we're calling the three images. Oh my gosh, this is a long, long link. Let, let's, let's change this, it changes just too much, too much. Oh my gosh, it is too much. You know what, we'll just continue. I guess you get it, guys. So, what we have done, we have called the three images we have here. And we are going to style them all at once. Let's do with. We are going to give them 30% for each one. Let's have a look now. We give them 30% for each image. See? They are smaller now. And they are all with same width. Obviously not same height, but same width. What we are going to do is call the div and I'm gonna show you a trick. Let's say you have a lot of divs, a lot of text that are divs, and you want to call just one, one of them. Not like we did with the images, we called uh, the image tag and they are all affected. So you go to the div and you write id equal you open the quote and you, you name it whatever you want. Let's name it um, div1. I, so I go back here to my CSS and do hashtag div1. That's why I'm calling the div that I, I want. And inside this div1, we'll do also with Or let's keep it like like it is, and let's do margin. Remember, of course, guys, you remember this one margin auto. It doesn't work for all types of tags, but it works for most. Nothing changed. I guess we're going to we'll have to do the width trick. See guys, it's of course nicer. <coughs> it's just a coincidence. The three images are uh, uh, going less and high or on order. <laughs> So, what do you think, guys? We try to do something else. Let's make this, let's give this a background color. And I choose page. Of course, nicer. And let's try, let's try to give some space uh, here and the top and on the bottom let's make um, here go to the images and we write padding and you we write let's say um four percent save too too much Let's give us 
pattern top. That means the pattern at the top of the page or uh, of the dev. Sorry, excuse me. Top of the image. <laughs> excuse me. Top of the image. And also bottom. Check this out. That's great. Absolutely nice. Nice, nice guys. And I guess we have, we have learned much. If this was helpful for you, uh, please let me know. So uh, I will make another one uh, and continue and continue what we have started with CSS and make, of course, uh, much better stuff with more advanced styling. This was a uh, very basic styling. And the next time we'll try to do something big, something very good looking. Happy to teach you guys and take care. Good luck.